Yeah, you remember this one? Yeah. Remember this one? This is the, uh, this was a special edition right here. I talked to the guy who owned it a couple weeks ago. He's probably here. I get up with him again, but, uh, we're gonna make this Cadillac Road number two. This is the, uh, so I thought, I thought it was a Phaeton, but it's not a Phaeton. This one is a special edition, but not a Phaeton. You know, remember this one here? The two tone. I have a separate video about this one, so I don't want to belabor you guys what you don't remember. Just want to remember this one because this is the. Uh, this is one going to start off my Cadillac row number two. You know, so I remember this one. Yeah, so. Yeah, so 79, Coupe de Ville. Special edition, which I can't remember. You're going to have to go to the video I made on this one to remember what, what edition it is. I'm going to come over here. I'll make my way up. It's another 92. Ninety one, yeah. So ninety between ninety one and ninety three, they were generally all the same. Only thing was, ninety one would have a four and a half liter V eight. Ninety two and ninety three would have a four point nine. But ninety three, the horsepower rating is greater on ninety three than it is for ninety two. So everybody's in the votes, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. So, anyway. Now, between this one here, but next to this one is the Escalade. I'm not going to get the Escalade just because you don't need to come here to see a video on Escalade. You don't need to come here to see a video on the Escalade. Uh, so maybe they did. There's the one next to it. On the other side is similar to Playing some Bruce Springsteen in there, Pink Cadillac. You can't hear it, but you hear. I wonder what you're doing in your pink Cadillac, plush velvet seats, cruising in the girl in a red red roll, roll red red. See, there's another one with the uh, the custom grill with the. Uh, well, this is different because these are not 90 to 92. He had a medium. No. These are not 90 to 92 headlights. These headlights are from something else. This is basically standard bezel, and they wedge some one-piece headlight in there. Yeah. March. Well, that's I, so, I want to. I honestly, I need it, but I gotta, I gotta say so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. This is the Verrazano Cadillac Club. You know, and uh, I know. I've known you, John, for years. I know you're buying. Other people say, "Gee, buddy, I'm Fleetwood Brom. Yeah, see? Because that front end, it, made, it, 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 it confirms what I'm thinking, that they didn't make any two-door Fleetwood Broms after 1985. So these that exist, they've just been updated with the later, the later grill.
Nice interior, it's a stock interior, you know, stock crushing, uh, stock velour seats, you know, some pretty good body work. Yeah, so, he didn't list a year. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 1984. You know, because these headlights, these, they just wedge something in there. Because they look sort of bulbous compared to the other one. Oh. Oh, what do you see? What do we got here? Oh, it looks like a 65, 66. Is this an Eldorado or uh, just a Coupe de Ville? Yeah, just Coupe de Ville. It was an Eldorado. It will say so right here. Eldorado. 66. 66 has stacked headlights. You know, it does have a 429 in it also. <laughs> nice interior. Look at that, Mr. McCluster. Say, you see the blue, and the 64 with the headlights are side by side, but for 65 and 66, they went to the stacked headlight look. Yeah, it's very attractive. <laughs> oh, I mean, I love it when you see a black Cadillac. Oh, that interior is pretty bright. Oof, I didn't know it was that. Some sunglasses on. Right. Let's see what we got. Convertible. <laughs> the dogs out now. This is a uh, uh, this is a big block in here. This is like uh, I don't know what that is. Somebody tell me what it, what is that? Distributors and distributors in the rear. Oh no. Oh, the distributor's in the front, I'm sorry. I'm staring right at it. Who put the distributor in the front? Oldsmobile? Cadillac? Yeah, 429? Yeah. 1981. Ah, so 1981. That'd be, uh... This would be a 368 for 19, uh, 1981. 368 is something in that family. This 425 was in that family. 368 was a commercial chassis V8, 6 liter. So, plenty of power for a car this size and weight. Tinted windows.
black top. Oh, this is a Fleetwood, too. It's a Fleetwood Brome. Dual exhaust. Wire, wheel, wire spoke wheel covers. And next to it, we got a Continental Mark VI. They only made this one from 81 to 83, so... Signature series too. Uh oh. That means it's got the roof. And it's also got the uh the five digit uh combination lock on the door, digital instrument panel, uh silver buttons, it's got the high powered stereo with the JBL. Of course. Gotta keep that in perspective though. The high-powered stereo for this car in 1983 was a 25-watt JBL receiver uh, amplifier. Floating ground. Floating ground. Oh, vinyl's are perfect, man. There's no rips, no tears. Right? You saw my vinyl, right? My vinyl was just tore up like a damn raccoon was living on a roof or something, you know? Yeah, see? This is solid, man. No crunch in this. I mean, it looks like original paint. Yeah, see? It was, uh... Very nice. Yeah, see, look. The rear deck, solid. No water leakage. Yeah, mine is all messed up. You can tell. You know? Boom, boom, boom. Power antenna. Mine was in the front, wasn't it? It came in the rear. Who put it in the rear? Turbine wheels. Painted turbine wheels. Even better. You got to watch out on that lug nut cover because you'll lose those. I lost like two of those when you hit those corners. This is uh, a uh, five liter throttle body injection on this one unfortunately this year we're talking like 130 horsepower yeah but you know over the counter you can fix all of that you can get about 500 horsepower out of this 5 liter with a little bit of effort oh it's got the dash cover that's great cause that dash will crack and just crumble right in your hands when you <laughs> you take it apart. Yeah, man. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh, it's got the glazed roof. This is fucking anodized. The anodized roof. You see that? You can't see it, but there's a red tint to it. But that means uh, they put magnesium in the glass to give you that tint. So, oh, I didn't forget about the Fleetwood Brome over here, but not really much to see. It's got a blue interior. Say, this is your 1981 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. Oh, and it came with its own grill. Or this is a 1981 grill. That's pretty much the way it changed. But over here on the Continental Mark VI side of the game, you know, I love this grill. This Mark VI grill is different than the town car grill. Yeah, see? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a 1982? It's a 1980, so this is carbureted. Right. Oh, they didn't get fuel injection until 1982. That's when you would have gotten the throttle body. So, for 1980, uh, they would have given you that variable Venturi carburetor. Which was garbage, so he would have thrown that away. So he's probably got an auto light two barrel on there. You know. No, I'm just making a video. So for 1980, 
this would have not had an AOD in it. The AOD would have came about in 81 with a porous case, and it would have came apart with a different case for 1982. So this would have had a C6 in it for 1980. So, as you can tell, generally speaking, all the Panther bodies, the engine bay looks all the same. Oh, you got to watch out for this over here, though. This ignition control module. You see that? When it leaks the guts out, like right there. That normally means that this uh, ignition control module is bad. Because that's what happens. It pisses out the uh, the wax guts. You know, I don't want to touch it because... But still, as you can tell... I don't know if it's good or bad in this car if it's been in place, but that's normally how you can tell they've gone bad. So, yeah, so generally speaking, the entire Panthers, uh, the engine bay is the same layout. Oh, that wiper arm on the driver's side. It's an articulating wiper arm, but Lincoln's, the Lincoln arm is different than the Ford and Mercury arm. But this arm here, I can't really tell because I've been around them so much, but it's, but then again, yeah, so, you know, signature series, 1980, Mark VI, it's very beautiful, man. Love the gold pinstripe. Do, 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 do. Oh, another 81. Oh, look at this one. It's got 864 in it. Oh, it's got 864. 1981. Uh, they call it, um, they call it displacement on demand now. But back then they called it, uh, they called it something else. So, 368. This is a basic 368, and it's got uh, these solenoid cylinder deactivation solenoids, but you can just short those out. And then, so, it's got that same grill from that era. I mean, generally speaking, all the Cadillacs are going to look the same in the rear, so. Well, not, not that one. Hmm? That one's completely not stock hunting on that. Which one? Which one, the black one? What's in the black one? Six liter? 472. 472. That's what I was thinking, man. 373. I was thinking it's from that family, right? Well, let me go back. Let's go back to that one right here. See? I thought it was a six liter. But, uh, yeah. It was. originally. It was. Yeah. Originally, right. I'm Mike, by the way. Oh, Alan. How are you? Right, Same right. page. Oh, uh, Galaxy Marauder. All right, I'm going to look you up. All right. Yeah, this is all... Uh, 72, 472, right. over. Sweet. It's got a pretty decent cam in it. Sweet. Everything's, sweet. Uh, you know, brand new. Edelbrock. Yes, very nice. Holly Cobb, 750. Very nice. Everything where AC works, everything. Yeah, it's just open. drop in. It's the same engine family, so everything should have been yeah, just I, like I that. Put a uh, built 204R in there. Oh, did you? Overdrive, yeah. Yeah, it's not, I mean, a lot of people don't Gears, go with that. Uh, go with that one. Gear Star, they said if you can break this, it goes as a problem. Right, right. So, <laughs> the, uh, you know. Stage four, stage four. Yeah, right. The right so, thing. so yeah. trips with first, second, and third. So what he built that for was like, because uh, the two hundred R four was stock in the Grand, Grand National. National, right? But that had a, b a bigger hub. Had yeah, the but that means so it, mean, it had potential. Right. So a lot of people don't think they you had know, potential. Right, but yeah. seven hundred R four is it's got it's, a, it's got typical. His weaknesses, so. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This dropped just, right in. Yeah. I didn't have to cut the drive right, shaft. Right. All I had to do was change, change right. the uh, cross member. So Oldsmobile design, I love it. Yeah, sweet. So, but it runs good. I, put a, I got a 9C1 Caprice rear in there with uh, 373s. All right. Posi. Posi. So, okay. Dual yeah. exhaust. It's very nice. Pretty good run. Very nice. And this one over here is basic. That's a stock stock, yeah. That's yeah, because I, I, saw, I saw the eating. Uh, stock, yeah. It still works. It's 864 works. That's not bad. It, was, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't yeah. a problem. It was just that I think at the time it just couldn't do the calculations. No, if you disconnect it, it runs as a Yeah, it runs as a six, it's six liter, right. Yeah. I just think people, they were expecting more. Yeah. But, you know, you know computer technology well, the back then. That yeah. Was, you know. Yeah. And then you're expecting the car to respond immediately. No, but and, you know. But in, on the highway? Yeah. You feel it change? Right. It, it, it works. 
This is very nice, man. Thank you. You know? What you mean? Just the fact that you kept it functional and usually the yeah, original. Yeah, my father commandeered this arm. Yeah? I bought it for myself. He's like, no, this is mine now. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah. Keep it in the family, you know? What's the name of your page again? Galaxy Marauder. Galaxy Marauder. Well, that's that's uh, with XIE, like that's a Ford Galaxy. Right? Yeah. Take yeah. care, man. Thank you. You too, bro. You know. So, all right. We're looking sweet here. Looking sweet. And then we got... Um, fresh. So, this is another... This is a 93. So this is the final the final year with the B 4.9. And then uh, that was good, man. A lot of times you get to talk to the owners and they tell you cuz I knew I knew it was from a specific family. Yeah, but the 472 and the 368, they're from the same family of V8 engines for Cadillac. So, a lot of the dimensions are the same externally. So, a lot of the, the differences will be internally and also in engine weight. As later on, they started putting more alloys. Oof. Man. Okay. I get these. You know, and this is another Fleetwood Brome. This is a Brome d'Elegance. Brome d'Elegance. Well, triple blue. <clears throat> this is, uh, let's go with that down here, right? Let's go with that one. What time is it? Because I'm going to arrive. You always want to ride when the show starts, but uh Craigars, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these guys like these Playboy air fresheners, man. <laughs> you know. the screen went black for a minute. So now it works. Okay. Yeah, so this is a this is a 93 sedan. And this is a 90-92 Delegance. 92 is a Delegance, right? 90. This is a 1990. It's a So, this will be this, this is the end of the, the, the second row of Cadillacs. So, let me go down there with the other boys.